Hello, this is Vern, and if you hate the dating process and would like to learn what are four forces that will determine your degree of fulfillment and success in dating, well, stick around because I will reveal what these are on my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love you crave and if you're one of those women who hate the process of dating and are figuring out what is it that you can tweak or change to enjoy this and to not just enjoy it but to enhance and increase your probability of success success meaning you find your soulmate well here's what i have to share with you right now i'm going to share four forces that impact this the first one it's plain and simple and it's your own internal degree of fulfillment in life Here's the truth. If you're someone who is miserable in life, you'll have a miserable experience dating. If you're somebody who's ha happy and healthy and excited in your regular life, the likelihood that you'll enjoy dating is higher. I'm not saying it guarantees it, that's just one of the four steps, but it's definitely something that you need to have if you want to increase your success in dating. So if your life is not where it needs to be, am I saying you can't start dating? No, but in parallel of the process of dating, start making your life something that you would feel excited about if you were the other person that you'd feel excited to date you. Number two is your capacity to be present. If you are enjoying life and your level of fulfillment is high, the next step is to drop to your heart and be present with each man that you have the experience or the opportunity to connect with. When you're present, that's the moment where you can A, see him, feel him, allow him to see you and feel you. And forget about the past, forget about the baggage that you might be bringing, he might bring, circle around what is present. That within itself is such a skill, and so few people do it because they're judging against the list, they are thinking about five steps ahead, when we marry this will happen, or five steps in the past when this person uh, did this to me and therefore I can't open up to this guy. If you just throw that stuff away and become present, you're level of fulfillment and success in dating will exponentially uh, increase. Number three is how clearly you learn to read men's actions versus intentions, okay? And this takes patience and this takes time. A lot of men will see you and out of the excitement or their own agenda will say, here's what I can do and here's what can happen and here are my intentions. That's awesome. I mean, I think intentions are definitely important, but they're just one part of the equation. The bigger part of the equation beyond intentions is actions. So if you learn to gauge the men that you connect with based on their level of actions, instead of what they say or the level of excitement that they have with you solely, those are important, but not in the absence of action. If you learn to read actions, you will not be in a position where you say, well, I just caught me by surprise, this guy's not calling me, he's not texting me, he's like, well, I mean, if, he, if he's not taking the actions, then the intensity he has and his best wishes and intentions don't really matter as much. Number four is how detached you are throughout the entire process. And here's what I mean by that. If you're fulfilled in your own life, if you're excited and happy, if you're someone who's stepping into with an open heart and you have the capacity to be present, if you clearly read where the guy is based on time plus actions and intentions versus just intentions or intensity. The next thing that can really hurt you if you don't do is detaching yourself from what needs to happen. And here's one key and one, something that helps you detach more, that's options. When you're only connecting to one guy because you think he should be the one and he's taking so many actions, you haven't, he hasn't yet done what it takes for both of you, you know, you both haven't reached that stage where you can be exclusive, but you stop dating other guys, then you can't really feel detached from the outcome because you're pretty much putting your life on hold for a guy. So only do that when enough time has gone by, he's been fully vetted and tested, you know that you really feel excited about him, it's worth uh, stopping seeing other guys, and then you can have a, more of an idea of what should happen in that relationship. But before then, if you attach a sense of this is what has to happen before the man is ready, then I think you'll do yourself a great disservice and experience unnecessary pain and neediness in, in the process. Hope this is helpful. 
useful and insightful. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up that allows you to sign up to a webinar I'm hosting where I will share with you how you can find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very powerful blueprint and it's absolutely free. Thank you. <laughs>